got a package here. Actually, there's. Oops, he moved. Felix. Oh well, there was Felix the cat. There's his butt. Got a package here. I ordered. Let's see if we can rip this open. Something I ordered off eBay. This is very important for the off-grid homestead. This is for the solar power production here in the homestead. Guess I've got to cut that. Usually there's a fold over. Whatever. All right. What we got here is some wires for my solar panel. Okay. Parallel connections. Professional parallel hookups for my solar panels, it's for my uh, PWN solar charge controller. So there's a male and a female, or a plus and a minus I should say, one of each set. All right. So I'm going to go and hook these up right away so that my panels are in parallel now and uh, start pumping out some power into this tiny house on wheels because since I now have a PWM charge controller, I cannot have the solar panels in series like they were, so I had to get these adapters to go from four solar panels to one cable output to go into the tiny house to go into the solar charge controller. So I'm going to go hook these up because it's overcast today, which is perfect, so there's no power being produced anyway. And uh, we'll come back in and see what difference it makes. Now, you probably won't be able to see much of what I'm doing back here. Of course, the sun is shining on the panels now that I'm out here. What I have to do is hook up all the positives together and then all the negatives together and then connect, connect them into the final uh, wires on the um, system here. And I do hope that this is going to reach. Uh, I'm not sure. Right now I'm going to hook up two panels because I'm not sure if the wire is going to hold the current. So I'm going to have to be careful and monitor this and make sure that the wire can even handle the current of these um, solar panels. I have to be very careful that I don't melt my wire until I get until payday comes along. And after payday, then I can uh, get more proper wire for this. And hook these up right. So the idea now is I'm just going to absolutely separate these. Now I've got cables that allow me to hook up four panels together which would essentially be 800 watts eventually. Right now I just want to work my way up to that. So right now I want to start out with two because of these wires. Once I buy a new wire which is going to cost me a little bit. I've got to wait for payday and get proper heavy gauge wire to run from here to the tiny house. So that's why, again, I want to repeat, that's why I am not um, running more than two panels right now so that I don't burn up my lines. So hook up the positives together on one and we got the negatives so these for the PWN controller pole switch modulator modulation controller it's not you cannot handle the high voltages of a series connected set of solar panels so again I've got to make sure that I don't burn up my wires and I don't burn up my charge controller so Today we're only going with two panels, but I've only got about 30 watts on average coming in anyway uh, because it's overcast. So we'll see what kind of a difference it makes in the house when I'm done. So I've got to go over. You don't have to watch me. I'm going to hook up that last wire and then we'll go check it out. Okay, now I've got these two panels connected together in parallel. Now these are 235 watt solar panels. So it's going to be 470 watts, which, believe it or not, is all I ever had coming in anyway. Most likely from the, the 
the thickness of the wire that I've got running through here. So let's go on inside the tiny house and see what we got coming in. Um, it's overcast at best with brief periods of sun so it's not going to be the greatest test but I might be able to catch a little bit of sunlight here so let me hurry on in the house and see what we can see. Now I've temporarily taken the meter and put it over on this charge controller okay nothing exciting we've got 27 watts um, I think I have to do a reset because that has an alarm probably left over from the um, from having the, the parallel or the uh, serious connection so let me reset this I'll be back in a minute here and see what we can do well I've got an alarm I don't know why I tried resetting repeatedly and I'm not getting it off I haven't done a hard reset with pulling the power I tried a soft reset by pushing a reset button and it's not shutting off that alarm I don't know why I hate to have to do a hard reset on I mean, take off the faceplate and disconnect all the wires, but uh, maybe what I have to do. Actually, I could uh, I could do a hard reset by removing all the power. Uh, I did. I don't have the um, the uh, the switch in this one with the solar panel yet. I have to go buy another switch also on payday. The um, solar panel cutoff switch that I have on this charge controller originally. I do not have on this one so to reset the solar panels I have to actually physically disconnect the wires and that being in a low current cloudy period if I was to do a hard reset in this to uh, pull the power so that's a little inconvenient at this time um, I'm hoping it comes out of the alarm mode whatever that is and resets itself because right now we have like I said 400 and what 470 watts max I'm pulling in 51 watts right now. Well, 41 watts. It's really cloudy. So, 40, 50 watts fluctuating. 3 amps of power coming in. Not too hot, but it is cloudy. So, when uh, the sun shines, we'll come back and we'll see what we got here for power coming into this new solar charge controller. Right now, I'm running blind on this one. And since I rewired everything, my um, network wire is not reaching my modem at this time so I don't even have that hooked up so I'm running blind on that meter right now on that charge controller but uh, back and forth back and forth we'll figure it out we'll get this system tweaked and get some good power coming into the tiny house on wheels quickly there's a bit of sunlight a break in the clouds I'm hitting 200 watts and falling as I grab the camera I wasn't fast enough uh, we had 202 watts of power coming in and then a cloud passed over. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up for this video for today. But uh, it is on there and it is working. I don't know why I'm getting that alarm. That is annoying. Oh, here comes the sun again. Let me see what we can get. But out of uh, 400 watts of solar panels, I'm bringing in about 200 right now. Not exactly uh top super but the sun is not yet right over right right on the solar panels either so it's still early and uh the sun is also being blocked by clouds so this isn't too bad i don't know what the mppt solar charge controller is bringing in at all no idea but for an overcast day it's all right i'll bring in some power a lot more than i was bringing in before because i only had the one panel connected because with the uh the uh, PWM controller you cannot run the panels in series you have to run them in parallel here you run them in series that way you can have a higher voltage combined 130 volts coming into here because it's an MPPT and because it can handle a high voltage that means you can have smaller wires with less loss in the lines here you have to have bigger wires and the lower voltage so anyway there we have it everybody and uh, I'm going to wrap it up and hope for sunny days. The off-grid project and a tiny house on wheels. Well, uh, we finally got some sunlight, but now the sun is not on these solar panels anymore. I'm getting 52 watts uh, for, that can't be right, 4 amps. And that is odd. Um... 
Yeah, there's something going on here. I have to figure out why this is in alarm mode. So I've got to look it up. Not having the ability to uh, research that is, or to, to plug it into the computer is a problem. If I had known, I don't know, I might have looked for a different uh, one of their charging controllers. Because I do like the Morningstar. It is rugged. And it really keeps on working through anything. The MPPT is working well. But I don't have it connected to anything now. And that one, the solar panels on that one, are in full sunlight. So, anyway, well, uh, we'll keep an eye on this. I'll bring you back another day when the sun is shining on those particular solar panels. And uh, we'll see how it does.